Hi, today at My Quilting Beehive, I want to talk to you about how you can pin to match your points to help you get better point matching when you're sewing together pieces. If you made the 2022 Marvelous Mystery Quilt, we did this back when we made the Ohio Star Blocks in our quilt, but I'm going to do it today for the J Jacob's Ladder Blocks in the 2023 Marvelous Mystery. If you look over here, we have three rows of the Jacob's Ladder Block that need to be put together. The first point you're matching is just like matching a four patch. The seams are nesting opposite directions, so that one's not hard to pin. But this one, you have to be careful because you want to make sure this point and this point line up perfectly so they connect to make a nice straight line and you don't have cutoff points or problems. So I'm going to show you some tips for that. First, I'm going to pin my four patch side where it's just two straight seams. You nest them together. So they are touching each other. The seam allowances, one goes to the left, one goes to the right. Put them as close together as you can so they're flat. And then take a pin, and I like to hold my seam allowance down so I put my pin in at an angle. And that angle also allows, when I'm sewing that seam, I can leave the pin in until I'm right there and then take the pin out so it will hold them in place. So that's easy. But when we're matching points that have triangles and points and we don't want anything to get cut off or lost, we have to be a little more careful. If you look right here, that's the point of my half square triangle. There's a seam line going diagonally and a seam line straight that cross. And right at that point is where they meet. I'm going to use a red pin so you can tell which one's the first pin. And I'm going to put it right into that point where I don't want it to cut. So it's going right into the top layer of fabric and it goes right where the point is. And then in the bottom layer, again, right here we have the point we want to match up. So I'm gonna take that pin point and put it right into the point of the second triangle. And I'm gonna pull that one all the way through. You pull it all the way through and it's gonna join those two close together. It's pulling them snug and making them right where we want them to be. Then you'll take another pin, you'll put it on, the seam allowance on the left side and another pin on the right side. Now three pins, you're like, oh, that's a lot of work. It's not a lot of work. It's worth the effort because then you won't have to rip it out later because we know the red pin is holding them together. These two are now holding them in place. I'm not going to remove the red pin. It's sticking out, so we can't leave it sticking out to sew. I'm going to leave it in and I'm just going to pull it up and through. Now when I sew those points, I'm going to sew across the seam Careful here, take out that pin, sew all the way across, and I'm going to watch. It's, that's the place where the red pin goes in, where the points meet, and I'm going to try to sew right through all the way across. I'm going to bring it to my machine, place it under there, and I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam. all the way across. I'm going to keep that pin in. If I move it too soon, the fabric can shift. So I'm going to leave the pin in until it's almost to the needle and then take my pin out before the needle gets to it. Just as close as you can. Don't go too close that you hit it, but just right before it. Now this one I have the three pins. So I'm going through. My first pin is close. I'm taking my first pin out. My second and third pins are still in. I'm going to go as close to the second pin as I can. And then once you get to that point, you can take both pins out because you've passed where they match. And then you're going to go through. Just straighten out my end here. There we go. And finish your seam. And then you're going to open it up and you can take it to your ironing board and you'll see that one's perfect. You know what? This one's not perfect. Sometimes that happens. I'm going to look through and see, and it looks like on the back I need to get a little closer. I'm going to flip my thing, my row over so I can sew from the back side. And fortunately, I need to get a little bigger seam, not a smaller seam. If I needed a smaller seam, I would have to rip it out. But I'm just going to take a scantly little tiny bit bigger seam to fix that. And then when I open it up, now they're going to line up better. 
So I'll bring it to my ironing board. I want to press my seams towards the one with two four patches. So I'm hitting it first to set the seam. And then I'll make sure the seam allowance is going towards the bottom of my block. And press that seam nice and flat. And there we go. Now I can repeat it with my top part. When you do it, just make sure if all your seam allowances were accurate, you had the quarter inch, you'll have that quarter inch there and it'll make it very easy to line those up.